Hi, welcome to Vanguard Arms. I'm Chris. Today we're going to be talking about the P210 series of pistols, specifically the collector versions. Sig Sauer produced over a dozen different variations of this pistol, and we are very lucky to where we have five very high quality, very rare collector type versions. Uh, real quick, a history of the pistol. In the mid-1930s, the Swiss Army decided they were going to look for a new service weapon. And they commissioned SIG to be the one to produce that gun. It wasn't until 1949 that that gun actually was delivered. It, the production was delayed by World War II. Um, in 1949, the model 1949 was delivered to the Swiss Army. And there is a civilian and competition model to go along with it. In 1957, that civilian competition model was renamed the P210. There were very little differences between the civilian and the military model, so not worth getting into here. But as far as what each of these individual models have, we'll talk about the differences between each one, what makes them so special, why they're great shooters. Uh, but the similarities between all of them are simple. They're all very accurate, very reliable, and very repeatable. And those three characteristics are what makes the P210 one of the most famous target shooting guns on the planet today. The first gun we're going to talk about is the P210-7 22 long rifle. This gun, aside from being a P210, is really unique in its aspect of the fact that it is a 22 long rifle. I mean, they only made about 200 of these. Uh, it's really rare. You don't find them very often. It's made out of the same materials and in the same style as every other P210 is. Most modern 22 long rifle handguns you find, they're going to be made out of a cheaper style, uh, something polymer. They're going to be saving money by, you know, cutting down on the materials because you don't need uh, heavy materials in order to handle the recoil and handle the, um, the shot of a, P2, or of a uh, 22 long rifle. The P210-7 is still a full steel frame gun. It still has the same wooden grip, the same slide, the same sights, the same trigger, everything as a standard P210 would. Again, only 200 of these were ever made. This is a fantastic gun, probably going to be the most accurate 22 you you'll ever shoot, and it's stupid rare. Next, I want to talk about the two P210-6s that we have. The first one we're going to discuss is the P210-6 that was modified by a master gunsmith in Switzerland by the name of Crotet. He did a few modifications to this gun that brought a P210-6 to be a far more ergonomic version. So first thing he did was he enhanced the magazine release. As you can see on this gun, we have an American style magazine release and he made that bigger to make it easier to use. He also enhanced the size of the Safety. This is the thumb safety, and it's a lot bigger, again, for easier use. Um, we don't know everything that he did to the interior of the gun because this is brand new and unshot collector edition gun. Uh, I have not racked the slide. I've not dry fired it. I've not actually shot it. But we're waiting on a letter from Crotet himself to let us know exactly what he's done to this gun. I'd imagine he did some trigger work. I'd imagine he maybe did some upgrades to the barrel. It, he's not going to attach his name to a gun that isn't as high quality as it can possibly be. This gun is going to be one of those guns. The other P210-6 we have is also kind of a, a, a unique gun. This is a long slide heavy frame. Uh, obviously, the long slide comes from the length of the slide. This gun features a 6-inch barrel compared to the standard 5-inch barrels of the other ones we've talked about. With that 6-inch barrel, it comes the long slide to accommodate that. It's a heavy frame, so this frame is actually a little bit heavier than a regular P210 would be. The idea is the longer slide, the longer barrel, the heavier frame makes this gun a much better target pistol compared to regular P210s. So basically, they took an already fantastic target pistol and made it an even better version of itself. Um, it still features the same wooden grips, the same control parts as a regular P210 would. But this gun just, there's not many of these out there. Like I said about the 210-7, the, the number of these ones produced were very low. Um, I personally have never actually found another long slide heavy frame. One of the things that makes this one even more unique is the... Uh, 
I believe it was called the Federal Proof Stamp. The Swiss Federal Proof Stamp on this one is stamped 2011. Production on these guns stopped in 2006 or 2007. So having one that was finished and sold in 2011 is really, really unique. You don't find that ever. So it's really cool that we have one. That makes this gun kind of a unicorn. These first three guns were produced by Swiss Arms in Switzerland. These next two we have were going to be produced by the Sig Sauer German Master Shop in Germany. Um, the German Master Shop operated, I believe, from 2009 or 2010 up until 2020 when it was closed uh, in the middle of the, the COVID pandemic. It, these guns aren't being produced anymore. It makes them very, very rare. The first of these two we're going to talk about is the P210 Super Target. This gun is the German Master Shop's sort of standard P210. It is a five inch barreled or a, yeah, five inch barreled version with a regular size slide, has more enhanced control parts like you would see on this Crotet. The unique thing that you get out of this gun is you're gonna get the, the, the Master Shop quality. So you're gonna get the really nice Master Shop handcrafted wooden grips and all the internal parts are gonna be very well made, very well put together. This gun is not gonna experience malfunctions or jams. This gun is gonna last a very long time. It's also gonna be shooting very accurately and efficiently compared to a non-Master Shop P210. And then the final gun we're gonna talk about today is our P210 Skeleton. This gun takes the P210 Super Target, mixes it with the P210 Long Slide Heavy Frame, and the Crotet, and basically makes this gun the, in my opinion, the nicest of the P210s. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is it's a very long slide. It's got that six, six inch long slide, uh, or the six inch long barrel with the slide that accommodates it, and it's got a skeletonized slide. That skeletonized slide is gonna help reduce felt recoil, make it a little bit easier to handle. It's also got a very long frame. You can see this frame is actually as same length as you would find on the Super Target. This frame is going to help reduce muzzle flip and increase the weight of the gun again to help reduce recoil. You've got a skeletonized trigger, which is a, I believe it's gonna be one of their short reset triggers. And you also have the larger control parts. So this gun is built to be the best of everything, everything else on the table has. This gun's built to probably be one of the best shooting, if not the single best shooting gun you will ever hold. Of all of the guns that we have on the table, all of the P210s I've shot in my life, the only one I have actually shot is a P210 Super Target. Uh, the rest of these I've not gotten a chance to shoot, and I will say the Super Target is probably the most accurate handgun I personally have ever shot. Um, and if a more stock version of the German Master Shop is the best handgun I've shot, I can assure you the skeletonized version is gonna be even better. This long slide is gonna be fantastic. This Crotet is gonna be fantastic. And this 22 is hands down gonna be the most accurate 22 ever. Um, that's our review on the P210 series. P210 is gonna be our gun of the week. Uh, next week we'll bring you a new gun. We'll talk about its history. We'll talk about the features of it. And uh, until then, stay safe.